Hello kids! Welcome to another day of our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2. Our lesson for today is about subtraction of 2 to 3 digit numbers without or with regrouping. Most Essential Learning Competencies The learners visualizes, represents, and subtracts 2 to 3 digit numbers with minuens up to 999 without or with regrouping. Let us recall the terms we use in subtraction. There are parts of subtraction. In 17 minus 8 equals 9, the first number is the minuen. The second number is the subtrahend. And the third number is the difference. What is minuen? Minuen is the number from which another number is subtracted. How about subtrahend? Subtrahend is the number subtracted or taken away. What is difference? Difference is the answer in subtraction. Let us compare subtraction with addition. The subtrahend and the difference in subtraction will be going to be the addends in addition. And the minuen in subtraction will be going to be the sum in addition. When you add 8 plus 9 equals 17, it means your answer in subtraction is correct because the minuen in subtraction and the sum in addition are the same. We can check our answer in subtraction by using addition. This is because addition and thus subtraction. Addition and subtraction are inverse operation. Now, let us study the subtraction without regrouping. Let us read the problem solving. A group of children will attend their taekwondo class. Let's see the problem below. Mr. Gabriel has 46 pupils in his taekwondo class. Out of this number, 14 are girls. How many are boys? Let us use the steps in solving word problems. First, express the facts. Mr. Gabriel has boys and girls in his taekwondo class. The number of girls is given. How many are boys? Second, as what are given? 46 pupils, 14 are girls. How many are boys? Third, solve. The operation to be used is subtraction. Next, yes, this is the answer. Let's solve the problem together. How do we solve 46 minus 14? In subtracting bigger numbers, it is easier to arrange the minuen and subtrahend in column. Pay attention to the place values. First, subtract the ones. The ones in 46 is 6, and the ones in 14 is 4. 6 minus 4 equals 2. Then subtract the tens. The tens in 46 is 4. The tens in 14 is 1. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Therefore, 46 minus 14 equals 32. Mr. Gabriel has 32 boys in his Taekwondo class. Let's try other examples. 
795 minus 243 equals N. Now, let's arrange ones, tens, and hundreds in columns. Begin with the ones. The ones in 795 is 5. And the ones in 243 is 3. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then the tens. The tens in 795 is 9. And the tens in 243 is 4. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Then the hundreds. The hundreds in 795 is 7. And the hundreds in 243 is 2. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Therefore, 795 minus 243 equals 552. Try answering the following. First, 84 minus 21. Second, 572 minus 340. Third, 618 minus 103. Fourth, 726 minus 215. Fifth, 8,534 minus 2,123. Sixth, 9,641 minus 3,510. Seventh, 7,629 minus 3,510. Eighth, 6,148 minus 1,027. Answer the following in your notebook. Let us now study the subtraction with regrouping. Let us read the problem solving. All the 545 scouts in St. Luke's Academy went camping. Among them were 228 Cub Scouts. How many Boy Scouts were there? Let's find the answer to 545 minus 228 equals N. 545 minus 228 Step 1. Subtract the 1's. 5 minus 8 cannot be. Since we cannot subtract 5 from 8, we need to borrow 1 from 4. So that 5 becomes 15 and 4 becomes 3. So 15 minus 8 equals 7. Step 2. Subtract the tens. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. 5 minus 2 equals 3. There were 317 Boy Scouts. Let us check. We check subtraction by addition. So the subtrahend, which is 228, will be going to be the addends in addition. And the difference, which is 317, will be going to be the addends in addition. So therefore, the addends are 228 plus 317. Now, let's add the ones in addition. 8 plus 7 equals 15. Carry up 1. Let's add the tens. 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4. Next, let's add the hundreds. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now, let's check if the answer is correct. The minuend in subtraction is 545. And the sum in addition is 545. The answer is correct. They have the same number. Another example. What is 437 minus 152? 
Step 1. Subtract the 1's. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Step 2. Subtract the 10's. 3 minus 5 cannot be. Since we cannot subtract 3 from 5, we need to borrow 1 from 4. So 3 becomes 13 and 4 becomes 3. 13 minus 5 equals 8. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. 3 minus 1 equals 2. The answer in subtraction is 285. Another example. Find 500 minus 235. Step 1. Subtract the 1's. 0 minus 5 cannot be. Let's borrow 1 from the digit in the 10's place. The digit in the 10's place is 0. So the 0 in the 1's place cannot borrow 1 from the 0 in 10's place. So the next step that we are going to do is borrow 1 from the digit in the 100's place, which is 5. So the 0 in the 10's place becomes 10 and the 5 in the hundreds becomes 4. Now the 0 in the 1's place can borrow 1 from 10 in the 10's place. So 0 becomes 10 and the 10 becomes 9. Now we can subtract the 1's. 10 minus 5 equals 5. Step 2. Subtract the 10's. 9 minus 3 equals 6. Step 3. Subtract the hundreds. 4 minus 2 equals 2. So therefore, the answer is 265. 500 minus 235 equals 265. Try answering the following subtraction with regrouping. First, 782 minus 45. Second, 293 minus 57. Third, 460 minus 23. Fourth, 452 minus 136. Fifth, 684 minus 358. 6. 575 minus 239. 7. 500 minus 254. 8. 600 minus 385. Kids, I hope you have learned these lessons very well. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!